Hello, hello lovely internet people. For the longest time I needed to upgrade my soldering iron. For once, uh, because it is very low power. Secondly, it's almost burned out and uh, almost 10 years I was using this Velomen. It's very good quality soldering iron, but as you can see it's seen a lot of life and it is just time. It doesn't keep up with the bigger soldering spots. When I had the chance to test this unit from gearbest.com and this is GJ907. This is the closest thing that you can get to the soldering station. Uh, you have temperature adjustment. Not much and it is in English. 60 watts. It's stainless steel with ABS plastic. Uh, so 60 watts it should be uh, plenty powerful for me. Temperature ranges from 200 to 450. This is it what you get. It does feel comfortable in my hands. It is a little bit thicker than I would like it to be, but it's not too thick, so to speak, and the temperature now in comfortable place. You can even change the temperature mid soldering, so let's test out the grounding tip. Put our multimeter on continuity. Yep, so you can ground your tip. So this is very useful if you are working with sensitive electronics, and let's plug it in and now it's done first of all let's test it out with some bigger soldering spots which I had problems with maybe let's raise it up to 450 it heats up really really fast and uh, yeah this is amazing that it can heat up that fast and it is attacking it with relative ease uh, with my older one it was very hard to desolder these bigger parts. About a month ago I bought this clock kit and I was thinking what intricate enclosure to put it in to mask it somehow and I noticed that it really looks good as a PCB board the kind of the thing. The longer I thought about it I go gone to one conclusion I must uh, keep it as it is. Yeah so you can find uh, more advanced versions on gearbest.com as this this is the older version that I had and uh, the good thing about those kits that it's easy introduction to electronics pre-made kits it's even easier because you don't need to read schematic you just put according parts to according places it's like puzzle you just put it in the right places to start in electronics you just need to buy some of those kits and step by step you will understand uh, what components are what how they are working in the schematic let's start with the digital panel So the soldering iron works like magic, uh, the tip is perfect for me, keeps uh, the traces of solder very small, I like it, it's easy to control the temperature. So for $8.76 this is really perfect uh, soldering iron for you to start with. After you install your screen, can continue, there is no right sequence, you just go along as you feel comfortable. Right now we're going to put the resistor pack. As you can see there is a dot on it corresponding marking on the PCB itself. So install it accordingly. One trick you can do is bend the legs of uh, any kind of uh, part that you are installing in. So, as I mentioned, it goes as a puzzle. I will continue with the installing the IC socket. Little divot right here, corresponding divot on the socket. After you install your socket, there is few components which are polar sensitive. 10 microfarads, 25 volts uh, capacitor. The negative side is always going to be shorter. On the negative side it has a strip. Accordingly on the PCB you can see that positive side is marked. Bend it outwards. We have two resistors which are 10K and this is not polar sensitive so you can install it as how you want it. you might as well install the other next we can go with 
our transistor you don't really need to know where is the base emitter and the collector just by looking at the PCB curved side just need to match the view next we can go with the capacitor so they are non-polar there is written 30 and you can find according to 30 on the capacitor itself Then we can install crystal. Go with the other capacitor. And we have bigger capacitor. Let's put it into its corresponding place. Now we can install buzzer. power connection now we have only three parts and uh, one is just installing into the socket so so those two legs which are facing each other are the same contact point PCB you can see that this track connects all the points together so it's accordingly should be connected on the same side Install the socket, just make sure that all the leads are not bent too much after it goes in. Power it up, you can use whatever you want. I will use old charger from Sony Ericsson, 4.9 uh, voltage DC. Conveniently enough, they provide you with color coding, so red is going to be positive. Negative is going to be black. Now what left to do is to turn it on. Voila! Turn down the lights. Uh, let's make it. Maybe it has two time zones. This turned out to look great when you put it somewhere. It's going to be looking amazing. And uh, this soldering iron for eight and a little bit dollars truly amazing really huge upgrade from this one again as well if you're not sure that you need soldering station get this it's a lot cheaper thanks for watching and uh, bye